Hi guys, welcome back once again. Today let's learn how a hand pump really works. So we have a hand pump right here with us. We'll open up the hand pump and see how its internal components actually really work. We'll also show you how to pump the oil with the hand pump and also we'll see the theoretical part of its working. So watch the full video and learn it. Okay, uh, now let's identify the components. Uh, as you can see, this is a cylinder and the piston inside which is used to pump the oil uh, over here. You can see how it looks inside. We have the piston. Uh, the uh, road which is connecting to the piston and this is the portion where we hold and it is connected towards the cap which has some internal galleries this is a red cap where we have the internal galleries and this is the bore tilt where we are uh, collecting uh, the oil which is uh, getting pumped now uh, let's see uh, how it actually works so um, as you can see over here when I am uh, pushing uh, this hole towards the back the piston moves backwards and it will create a suction here. So this actually creates a suction here and we have an internal gallery through the cap which is connecting inside to the bottle. It's full of air. So what happens is that it sucks uh, the air outside like this towards the cylinder. That will create a suction towards the top. As uh, this port is closed over here, you can see we have three ports here. This one is closed over here. So what happens is that the only one open is this portion. So what happens, you can see this line is directly connecting towards the hose which is dipped inside the oil. So that creates a suction from the oil and the oil will pass through this hose and it will be deposited inside the bottle. So as we move the ramp backwards, that suction is being created and the oil is collected into this bottle. So that's why how it works. And we have two holes at the rear. So the air which will be stuck inside here at the rod side of the cylinder will be pushed outside uh, through the rear side of uh, hall of this particular cylinder. And when uh, enough amount of oil is been collected, uh, we can remove this cap and uh, make this hole open over here so that the pressure can be stabilized. So the atmospheric pressure can enter back into the bottle before we are uh, opening up the bottle okay so that's the basics okay uh, now let's dismantle the hand pump and see each of its components and the internal galleries so uh, this is a hand pump now let's dismantle and see uh, each of the components over here so this is the bottle which we'll be collecting uh, the oil into so let's open it up first so this is the uh, bottle keep it here so uh, this is the cap now let's uh, remove the cylinder off. Um, so that's the cylinder. Now this is the uh, hose which is uh, sucking the oil. So let's. So we have dismantled. So these are the components. Uh, now let's see each of its working. So this is a cylinder. This is how. Uh, it sucks the oil, it, you can see the piston, there is inside there is a piston, so that is the piston and this is coming over here towards uh, uh, this side of the cap, towards this side of the cap over here like this. So uh, here we have a diaphragm, you can see uh, if we uh, remove this uh, diaphragm, you can see a small hole here inside. This hole is directly connected towards the hole here inside, so what happens is that when the bottle is here like this and when our cylinder is here as we move it like this a suction is happening which is uh, sucking the air inside the bottle through this ho hole here which is internally connected towards the bottle like this as I have shown in the theory and what's uh, the other thing we have we have a hole in the center which uh, this uh, hose will be directly coming in that's a hole uh, that's a hole at the center this one and another one is to maintain the atmospheric pressure inside we have another hole over here which is connected towards this portion so when we are working uh, this will actually be closed with this uh, rubber plug like this and uh, when the bottle is full we open it up so that the atmospheric pressure can be maintained inside the bottle before dismantling the bottle so now let's pump some oil and see how it exactly works. So let's assemble it back. First the bottle. Then we have uh, okay. 
Now uh, I have a plug to be kept in, and here is a uh, our suction hose coming at the end. So that's how it's done. So let's pump some uh, water, for example, to see how it actually works. Okay, now let's see uh, how the hand pump actually works. So we have oil inside here, and the bottle is empty. Now let's see how uh, it sucks the oil. So I'm just pushing it back. You can see oil is getting filled inside. See the bottle is uh, having oil right now. See it's getting filled. I'm going to push it once more. See more, more, more oil is coming inside. See now let's do it once more. See that's how it happens. And it's full of oil. What we do is uh, we open up this portion so that the atmospheric pressure can be stabilized inside uh, the bottle. Right? So now let's open it up. So it's full of oil. Uh, we believe the video was useful to you and you have enjoyed it. And for updates, please click the subscribe button and the update will come to your inbox. Uh, please uh, click the like button or do drop a comment to motivate our team so that we can upload more such technical video updates. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.